Crazy Anna with 25 freaking pounds on her back. 25, she won't give it up. Look at that smile. Say wave, wave hi to the fam. Hi. Good morning, fam. Day 23, leaving Mancia, going through this archway right here. Kind of like as we're leaving, this is called the Puerta Castillo de Domingo, the door of St. James. It's the southeast door of the wall named Door of St. James because it is because it is through it that the pilgrims on the French way enter the town. In the 12th century, Mancia was the first stop in the kingdom of leon only the side walls remain and the arcade between them has disappeared this door was built using the same material as the wall in the shape of a passage way towards the outside so this is the only thing that's left truly a change in architecture style of the church it's no longer that romanesque that we've seen it's definitely different. Well, what's unique about this town is they have like streamers goes across the street, but these are woven kind of like it's so interesting because they weaved these and it's all along the street. So these are the protective walls of this city, this town, all the way around. On the edge of the River Esla, down there. On the way to Lyon, run into this snack shop right here. Has a heater. We got a free dessert with our Cafe Con Leche. Really nice lady. Um, wonderful. Crossing this bridge to Lyon. Beautiful stream. Oh, beautiful water. Was swimming in that, except that it's freezing cold right now. And that bridge. This bridge, fam, is Puente Villa Rente. Again, Puente Villa Rente. Hey, like me sporting my hat. Look at that. Making it to the top of the only hill, I think, that we're going on this route. I hope so. In this the village of Arcajueja. 
right there. Well, take a look at that. Decked out in my, my jacket. Because Sylvia said, it's going to be cold. And it is. And it is. So, pulled out the puffy jacket. He finally listened to his mother. Camino mother. Camino fam right here. <laughs> Put on your jacket. <laughs> Having fun. Look at that fam. Look at that. Dark. Green clouds. Pray for no rain. Fam, look at what we found. Every man's dream. The Spanish equivalent to Home Depot. We gotta go. Look, it even says Bienvenidos. They want us to go there. What the heck? This fam is the entry into Leon. I think we have about a mile and a half left to get in there. Pretty big city. Glad we're staying there instead of walking through it. Fam, in front of me is Sylvia. She's become part of our Camino family and she's the topic of my inspiration for the day. So, Sylvia is from Newark, New Jersey. And we kind of adopted her and me and Anna and her have been walking since St. John Pied de Port. She fell and uh, you know, injured her knee, ending up having three stitches on there. But she's giving me permission to tell you why she's um, walking this Camino, 800 kilometers, and why she's my inspiration today. And I especially picked, and I asked her today, because we're entering into the city of Lyon, you know, the Lion City. And, you know, for me, Hearing her story epitomizes my my concept of moms, mothers, and they're like lions are you know the big protectors, but it's actually the female lion, the lioness, that's actually the one that hunts and and the tough one. And Sylvia is one tough lady. She's definitely a woman of inspiration. You know, last year, she lost her son and two grandchildren to drunk driver accident. So it was so appropriate, you know, we're walking for the past days right next to the road. Cars passing by, busy streets. And, you know, she carries this backpack with her son's image there and her two grandchildren and visiting churches, you know, saying the prayers, coming back to faith, because as she said, she, she almost lost her faith in God. You know, I mean, what about you? You know, you lose the person that you love the most, your grandchildren, children, little kids that you adore so much. And the strength to overcome that tragedy. And she's walking this and she's carrying two passports. One for her and one for her son and grandchildren. And she's walking this, not for them. And I look at this, she's walking it with them. In the rain, in the hard dirt, in the traffic. I just... So inspirational. Um, just you know, her faith, I think, is being reborn. I believe the Holy Spirit has brought me, her, and Anna together to walk this. Because I tell you, it's just so inspiring to see people who are doing this with purpose. So. 
today, fam, as I talk to you, just remember that the things that you do, the actions that you have, drinking and driving, they affect not only yourself, but others. So think about that, you know, and when you see someone, a friend, yourselves, and you're having drinks, drink responsibly. Remember, don't drink and drive. Yeah. You know, just remember that the actions, your actions have an effect on others. Whether intentional or unintentional, they have that. Sylvia is an inspiration today. She's an inspiration for today, walking into this big city of Lyon because she has the strength to move on, to live her life fully for her grandchildren, her son, her husband, her daughter, and the rest of her family, and to be an example to other people of how to carry on forward, how to be the lioness, the strength. So, thanks, fam, for listening. Say a prayer for Sylvia. Say a prayer for her family, and definitely say a prayer for her son and two grandchildren who passed. Also, you know, one of the other tragedies is her mother passed away last year. So one of the things that she's doing, another inspirational thing, her husband's coming with the ashes of her mom. And when she finishes the Camino, she's going to bring the ashes of her mom to their family uh, gravesite to inter her mother there. So beautiful person, beautiful soul. Please pray for her. I know definitely she's praying for you guys as I am. Buen Camino fam. This is the school. And these are all the school kids going home. Two o'clock. Interesting. This is the Roman Leon. Jewish Leon. We got to cross this bridge and this is about the extent, the width of the pedestrian side. So I'm going to stay close to the side and hope Sylvia doesn't get hit. Oh, there's the pedestrian crosswalk. Over yeah. there on the other side. Oh, uh, we're living dangerously. So, we made it. Made it across. Living on the danger side. Here we are where the Contessa de Venavente is claiming her castle. There you go. Raining a little bit. Got the umbrella going, but look at this, fam. We got KFC. KFC, so Brava KFC. Maybe we'll have that tonight or tomorrow. Maybe. traffic than we're used to. Still heading to our apartment, another 15 minutes away. We reach our apartment and there's the cathedral and there's 39 Calle Fernandez and there's a bench. Oh, 
So here is our apartment for today, the next two days. We got the kitchen, look at that kitchen, the washing machine, the little area, frigidator. Anna's gonna be sleeping in her little, little queen little apartment right here. And long, long hallway. That. I think there's a window here. Let's look what's outside. Oh, the inner courtyard of the apartments. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> and that's Anna, cold. Cold as ice, just like her heart. Ah, like my soul. With our soul. A little toilet. <gasps> we have a tub. And, of course, the pink room goes to Sylvia. And the blue room goes for me. I got two beds. And we got the dining room, which is so far away from the kitchen. We got, we got the little living room and Sylvia already lounging. My feet are killing me. <laughs> Her feet are so that's how we end the day. This is a gift. Thank you, fam. It's the end of the day. Except we're gonna eat. I'm gonna show you what the food looks like. There's eat? Anna! There's the call to mass. Heading to Church Cathedral of Leon. They have daily mass, 6 p.m. This is the town, and there is the cathedral. Wow. of Leon. PM call to mass. Look at these alcoves. We just went to Mass to the Chapel of the Blessed Sacrament. This is the entrance. in the ceilings.
can see the, the water spouts. Actually, there's gargoyles that are being used. Work in the ceilings. You can see the, the water spouts. Actually, there's gargoyles that are being used. 